Hey out there, how y'all doing today? I am going to be playing some Minecraft since I abruptly abandoned it last night. It only feels correct to come back to the game today and play for a little bit. Uh, my husband's not getting home till a bit later, so I have some time to kill for now. Hope y'all are having a good day. And um, yeah, that's it. Let's just hop right to it. Let's do the game. Hello and welcome. Here we go. Uh, so I was in the process of making a little abandoned looking town square thing last night. It looks really junky. Hey monster. I'm doing very well. How are you? I'm just working on my Minecraft. I have abandoned it last night to play Among Us, so figured I'd hop back to it. Hope you're doing well today. Just working on my my messed up degraded little swamp area. Thank you, yeah, I'll take a sip. Thank you for the smoke-free encouragement as well. Appreciate that very, very much. And a posture check. Oh, I'm ready. I just started, so my posture isn't too bad yet. Um, but yeah. Oh, I guess we got a big hole there. This is what I made for the ruins. It's very, very degraded looking. Honestly, it might be a little too... It just looks really fucking weird. Go ahead and just toss some water down. Oh, what the hell happened there? There we go. Alright, and then I think I want to do some bars around it, just to give it a little more depth. What texture pack are you using? I'm using a texture pack called BD Craft. Oh shit, that's going to lock all the water away if I do that. It's a good texture pack. Not bad at all. Oh. Shit. Um, I have a couple mods installed. I can't remember all of them, to be honest. But yeah, it's a texture pack called Pure BD Craft. Oh, shit. Damn, this looks terrible. I don't really get water. We just need to basically build this to here. fix this water situation. It looks all 
irregular and strange to me. do that and then all right so this needs to go hey alex good morning welcome hope you're doing all right today making up for minecraft since i abruptly quit it last night to play among us so we're back That way I could still fit in some Among Us tonight and some Minecraft. My husband won't be home till later, so we got some time here. I got raided a couple times last night, yeah. It kind of comes and goes in waves, but Grizza sent me a really nice raid last night. It was very nice. And no Among Us Trolls, which made it even better. Alright, I don't, I don't like that weird... I don't think these bars are going to work. Just not feeling it. Yeah, the raid was very nice. The raid was sweet. I hadn't been following. Somehow I didn't follow Grizza before last night, so I rectified that. Some people take it too seriously. It's. I think it's more just like chat trolls i don't think it's i mean there is like the like the occasional person who joins who's like really weird about the game but it's more like people hit and run trolling in chat or discord you know that's the where the main problems arise with that game Thankfully, last night was great. Last night was chill. It was no problem at all. Red talking about, talking about Breath of the Wild made you pick it up again today? Nice. I wish I could put wall... Oh, actually, I can. Can I? gonna say okay that doesn't get rid of the water that's awesome cool that's an interesting fountain i feel like oh we got a weird little water situation going on here Breath of the Wild is great. I've kind of wanted to pick it up again too, but I think I'll just wait till the sequel comes out, you know? Or maybe pick it up like right before the sequel comes out. Get back into it then. Alright, so there's my little fountain. There's my... I kind of feel like these aren't necessary now, though.
looks very crumbly. You could do some light exploration. That's true. I could just do like side quests and stuff. Because I did not do all the side quests when I did that Twitch playthrough. Alright, so we got our little fountain. This looks ugly to me. I don't know. I'm so into clean lines, it's hard for me to, like, look at this and be like, I like it, you know? It's just so irregular. I can't view it objectively. <laughs> I really can't. Um, I need to do fencing on all this. I might clean it up a bit. Miss December now. Is this snow music? So sweet. Snow music. I like the I miss the rain music from uh New Leaf. True. Yeah, the new leaf rain music was very chill. I feel like I should just fill this in a bit more. to stare. Hmm. Uh, blues kind of comes and goes. I think there are a lot of uh, people who are in school doing school stuff, you know? They gotta focus on that, which is good. They definitely should. Yeah. Bacchus was on for a brief time last night before I switched to Among Us. As well. Just trying to make it feel a little less totally messy, but I don't know if it's really working. 
It seems if I keep it more at like a solid level, like this with just a couple of divots, kind of like that more. I guess there's a way they could do Zelda collection in 3D Zeldas. I think, I think they're gonna release them, but I think they're gonna release them all separately so they can charge 60 for each. That's what I think. I think we're likely to get more Zelda re-releases and ports and stuff, but they're just not gonna be. They're not gonna be all bundled. Zelda doesn't seem like a game they're going to give up for cheap to me. I think I like that more. It's not quite as messy, but it's still got some crumbliness to it. $40 for Twilight Princess, Wind Waker, Skyward Sword, Ocarina. Oh god, yeah. No. They will not do that. They absolutely, that will not happen. <laughs> I guarantee you that. I have an uncle who works for Nintendo. He says, no. He said, uh uh. Okay. That feels better. You can still mostly walk across it without a bunch of irregularity, so that's good. I feel like I should do the rest of the path like that, to be honest. This whole diagonal situation, I don't know what the hell I was thinking here. It looks a fucking mess. It's a complete fucking mess, but I don't know what to do with it. I gotta fix it somehow, because I don't like it. I need more stairs. Non-cobble, or non-mossy cobble. Yeah, I like pathing that way too. I, honestly, I like that much better, but I am, I was kind of inspired by Blue's pathing a little bit to try something else, but just it's a difficult look to pull off I feel like I'm trying to make it less junky looking though for sure
Mm, let's put the stair here. Why won't you fit there? Oh, 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 okay. Okay, so somehow I have to make this feel more thoughtful. across there. Alright, so they need to go up by half a square, basically. All the way up here. That would be half a square up. This would be half a square up. feel so slippery yeah when I played when I played it on 3d all-stars I was like I can't I mean I did finish it but it was a test it was a chore it was not easy to give that game the benefit of the doubt <laughs> yeah I got 120 on it I didn't do it on stream I was like a couch game for me. all right but it just i don't know something about that game is revolutionary but also has not aged that well in my opinion you know parts of it just feel really clunky So if we're right here,
All right, that feels a little smoother. I mean, you can't really see it either. That part's a little weird. I know this is just going to grow back, but... Gotta get a good view on it, you know? to be a corner piece. I don't think that's going to happen, though. Um, alright. I don't like that. Okay, I think that's fine. Oh. Alright, it flows smoothly as far as walking up it. Hey, this gay bear. How you doing today? I am playing my Minecraft. I'm working on like a ruins area. I'm trying to make an area that looks very messed up. Which is hard for me because it's not the way I work. I'm very much overthinking every little thing. All right, so the path came off right there. So let's bring the path off in the same spot means this little fence situation is not gonna work hopefully you're having a good day out there I feel like the best thing to do is to just build the path normally and then rough it up. That might make things go a little bit faster for me. Alright, I definitely want a structure, I guess, right here. So, we'll get two wide paths to little houses and stuff. With no, I'm not gonna do any border edge or anything like that on them. Maybe a fence or something. Okay, that's good for that. Do the same thing over here. And then 
let's do a little bit of spruce fence. We can get rid of that water bucket. So this will be, let's go ahead and I want to build a structure. Kind of tired of building pathing already. So I don't want to make things too big. I want to make this kind of a small little thing. I don't want to get too overboard because I'm not really as into this project. So four, one, two, two, three, four. Goodbye. one more wall up we can have i don't give like some accents to the buildings though maybe like some chiseled stone might look pretty good with some cobble Oh, I guess it has been sunset the whole time. Somebody, I think Magma probably made the, probably made it the time static. I didn't even notice that till you said something. Uh, let's see, Minecraft, enable, time. Enable day cycle. Oh, day lock. Oh, that didn't work. The command is a shortcut to change to the do daylight cycle game rule. Game rule do daylight cycle true? I don't know. False? I don't know. Aw, <laughs> oh, shit. Artistic cheese. Easy. 1,000 followers. I'm pretty close. I think I'll just do it the normal way. Thank you. Thanks. I'm well on my way. Hey, Super Manoya. I don't know what else to put after do daylight daylight cycle. It's a simple on off on bedrock. I 
Let's see. True or false? It is true or false. I just don't know how you put it in. Because it's red, so clearly something's not right here. How? Why? Okay. I think I just do true and that it should work. Maybe I have to... I'm not that perturbed, I mean... Okay, I just had to have proper capitalization. That makes sense. I was just feeling lazy. I didn't want to have to capitalize. Sheesh. How dare they? <laughs> Back to desk work. Good luck. Hope you're doing well. I know the job's been rough and... Or it's not... Maybe not rough, but it's just been taking up a lot of mental energy. I guess is the better way to put it. Wait, you wanted to freeze it? You can. I, I didn't freeze it. I think magma or somebody probably froze it. So they could get stuff done without having to constantly reapply it. You know? Which is fine. I don't really mind. I give people creative rights on this server if they want them. You know? So, I let them do that if they want it. Doesn't bug me at all. I can always undo it and put it back on or whatever. I'm not picky. What you making? I am making a ruins so i am doing like this is a swampy area so i've just been building a path that's like falling apart basically and then i did this fountain area which is also very crumbly it's been good experiencing a lot of unreality I'm sure it's it's just like such a paradigm shift. It's like hard to get into it. I know when I go back to work, it's gonna be gonna be a rough time. I've been savoring every second of not working though. I'm not gonna lie. Does that make me selfish? Yes, <laughs> it does, but I don't mind. My husband doesn't mind either. He's been very supportive. Makes you appreciative of the now. That's right. I know this, this uh, little vacation period will not last forever. So why not enjoy it? Of course, there's days where you're like, God, I'm so fucking like, ugh. But overall, things could be a lot worse. How's the Lake River painting going? It's going quite well. Actually, I can show you. Because I have the camera feed up. <gasps> Look how pretty it is. Oh my God. Uh, we got this little forest area done last time, and we filled in some of the land over here. So essentially, the base painting is pretty much down, other than the city still needs to be colored in. The skyscrapers and stuff, they are not colored in yet, but they will be pretty soon, hopefully. But yeah, it's coming along very great. I'm very happy with it. So far, so good.
Thank you. All right, so let's build up a frame for the house. But yeah, I'm very happy with it. Considering I've only been working on it a few weeks, it's actually coming along pretty well. For me, getting that much done in a few weeks is kind of amazing, so I feel pretty good. All right, so let's build up these edges some more. You love the aesthetic of it? It's, yeah, it's, um, I would say it's a departure for me. It, I would, it's not really, but it feels different. Like maybe I'm streamlining it a bit better than I usually do or something. I don't know. Alright, that wall looks good. I like that. JJ is my Animal Crossing character's name. Yes, indeed. Do I want to bring that up one more? Not really. I think I still got to put a roof on this. Yep, JJ is me. Make this connect. Make that basically all the way up. I like that. It is, yeah. I mean, I have I have a couple of mods installed, but they were just suggestions. I honestly can't remember what they are off the top of my head. I know I have computer craft and a couple of other things. Mostly they're like quality of life mods. Won't you why won't you there we go. See, this is the kind of thing, it gets fun once I kind of figure things out. But this has been a kind of a frustrating one for me to start, because I don't know... I don't know, this aesthetic's just very different to me. And I don't want those to connect like that. God. 
Animal Crossing music is just hits such a mood for me. That one for kind of building looks good. I I mean, honestly, if you look at my mountain village, this is a departure for me. This is very much not what I like to do, but I'm trying some, I'm trying to move outside of what I would normally do. Normally my stuff is this very clean path and like square edges. It's just very grid-like, very organized. You know, this is kind of my normal, but I'm, I am trying to push myself away from just building the same thing over and over. So I'm trying to do, I did, I built all this, all this was me. It's huge. This whole settlement is huge. It's like a big mountain village that goes in and out of the mountain. I did though. So this is more my normal aesthetic. I also built all this too. As you can see it's just much more clean and kind of, I don't want to say cookie cutter. I don't think that's the right word, but it's more formulaic, you know? So for this, it's just, I'm pushing myself away from perfect, clean everything and just trying to make it look intentionally busted up. Which is hard for me. It's so hard. It's, yeah, it's been a struggle because I keep wanting to clean things up and fix it. That's like antithetical to what I'm actually trying to build here. I want some kind of like interesting accent on these. Maybe, maybe it's time for wall pieces, stone wall. Oh no, we have cobble wall. How can I work that in here? Yeah, I think I'm gonna, with the under the house, I think I wanna like 
remove some of the flooring completely. You know? Just like break it out. I think a hole right here would be kind of nice. Maybe. You know Lou? Yeah, Valula. I love Lou. She came in a lot early in the Animal Crossing days when I was doing turnips and stuff. Her and Raw. Lou's great. I'm so proud of her. She's done such a good job streaming. It just goes to show you there's so many people that are like, you need face cam. You don't need face cam. She deserves it. She's good at Valorant. She doesn't give herself enough credit with that, but she's really good at the game. Hey, Alien. Yeah, I'm, I'm so happy to see her do well. Because she is just so nice. Not only is she, like, good at the game and just very chill, she's just nice She's like nice to listen to nice to watch she puts up with a lot of shit because you know women playing video games just makes men so fucking insecure what's up nothing what is this song from i let's see it's a good song it is from Celeste. That was Celeste. Or no, that was Paper Mario, excuse me. The Great Bogley Tree. Thousand Year Door. Also, just men in first person shooters. They just, they get so. too much. I want to replay Thousand Year Door, but if I tried to emulate it, I'm pretty sure it would not work. I've heard it has some serious problems. Not that I ever emulate, I own a copy of the game, of course. But it's just easier not to hook it up to my computer. I don't think it's even just kids that are toxic. I think it's full-grown adult males. There's a lot of insecure people out there is what I'm trying to say. They're so insecure. Get over yourself. No one cares how good you are at video games. That's my take. That's my spicy take. Why? Okay, there we go. Here, we're going to play Valorant. I'm not really great at competitive gaming, to be honest. I'm actually pretty shitty at it. Hence the Animal Crossing and the Minecrafting. Yeah, high-pressure games are a lot for me. Splatoon is about as uh, competitive as I got, and even that, I'm like, I get into a place where I'm like, shit, I can't even do this. All right, how do I make this? I want to add some wood touches or something. It looks so weird to me. It needs some sort of accents on it.
are you doing, alien? I saw that you have to read three textbooks for your class. Seems kind of excessive. Stone bricks, yeah. It needs... Uh, something. Yeah, like, maybe some chiseled. Maybe this as, like, a roof set up. There we go. Definitely need to move away from cobble everything all the time. Taking a break from studying today. Nice. It is Friday. No classes for two days. Now's the time. Yeah, maybe I just do... I'm going to do a line of these, see how that works. I feel like it needs something up the edge, like the corners. If I put some sort of nice accent on the corner, I think it'll pop. Is I don't think there is a slab chisel. Yeah, I wish there was, but there's closest thing I have to that is like stone bricks. I think I will do... The waypoint. I thought about using waypoints creatively like that, but don't they put in... Don't they put in something? What are my stone options? What is this? These are all infested. Wait, what was that? Lodestone? What does that look like? Oh, interesting. Yeah, I won't use infested. I know it, it creates monsters and shit. Um. I don't know how lodestone looks on another texture pack, but it's kind of pretty on this texture pack, so fuck it. Andesite. I mean, I like the idea of that, but that doesn't work. Maybe I'll just use andesite, call it a day. That gives it just a different visual. Yeah, that's better actually, that is better. And I have like all of the pieces Stairs, slabs, whatnot. How you doing today, Magma?
kind of feel like the flooring area should also be andesite. Takes netherite to make lodestone. It looks pretty. Honestly, it was really pretty. I want to use that in something else for sure. I mean, I'm an expensive, I have expensive taste. What can I say? up to no one home sounds great <laughs> same here my husband's work until six tonight so well he should he'll probably he always says he's he's gonna be home an hour and a half after he has a cut in color but it always ends up being about an hour he's always quick about it so he'll be home Earlier than he thinks, I'm sure. And we got some TV to watch tonight. We got WandaVision. Which I've been enjoying. I feel like it's really... I was, the first two episodes, I was kind of like, mm, you know. Okay. But it's gotten better, I feel like. Making a crumbly roof. How is that going to work? if I want to overuse the andesite, so maybe anime watch on Thursday skipped a week, now you feel empty. I hate when shows skip a week. I mean, I know it's going to happen, but it just is always like, damn it. Sat down to watch it, now I can't. Oh, I forgot to do this line. The worst is December. It always happens like December's the worst month for that shit. Which is weird because people have the most time off in December most of the time. It's a choice. I do like the andesite though. These blocks aren't working. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's all I need. Feels kind of basic, but I think that's all right.
Oh wait, what am I doing? Wrong level. Basic, but I think it's fine. There's gotta be something else I can add to it though. Maybe I need to add what would be like a window frame. Like obviously these walls would not just be a wall with no window. How do I make it look like there was a window there? Like it feels dynamic and neat when you're inside of it. Oop. But from a distance, it looks kind of underwhelming. Like that's cool, you know? That's true. Maybe just some of these. Except a different, not, not cobblestone. Alright, so this would be a window. This would be a window. And all this would not be here at all. And then maybe... of the window is andesite. I need more cobble. Oh yeah, I can't fucking do that.
Hey, bruv. How you doing today? I am trying to make a ruined looking building here with mixed results. Actually, that's not bad. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm doing well. I'm doing very well. I woke up at a decent time for how late I went to bed. Um, so I'm up at a decent time and... My husband's not going to be home for a while. I had me a nice bowl of Rice Krispies with cut up bananas in it. Feeling energized. And ready to chill. All right, maybe, maybe that on top of it. And then I can just, can't I? still put the like decorative piece on top of it yeah right maybe not that's north this would be This thing is so confusing. Like, it's really cool, but it confuses the shit out of me. West. This would be south? Oh, whoops. What did I just do? Okay, that's what I wanted. I actually don't want... Oop. That's north. This is west. So we don't want west. Okay, that's a lot of work for that little thing there. And not even... I don't even get to keep the full effect. skills are next level i this is all just like experimentation honestly i have no fucking clue what i'm doing i was inspired by blue draws who's on my creative server because their aesthetic is very different from mine so i'm trying to like push outside of what i would normally do and magma honestly magma with this debug rod Okay, this, this is not worth it, you know? It's not fucking worth it. How about we just get rid of those, maybe? The rod is overwhelming, because it's, every block is, has to be treated differently, and I'm just like, not 
I'm not perceptive enough to like realize exactly what I need to change right then and there. So I'm just like constantly fumbling. There is an andesite wall. It's not polished, which looks like shit. Might as well be cobblestone. It needs the wall. Oh my god, the hiccups. It needs the wall. Oh, no. Okay, so east low, I think is what we need. Oh, yeah, and then west low on this one. Might as well be cobblestone is an iconic phrase. You're giving me too much credit. <laughs> it's, I mean, I kind of regret making this building cobblestone and kind of working with cobblestone with all this because it's so bland to me. I find it incredibly bland. West needs to be, I guess it's going to keep that little decorative flourish, which is fine, I guess. We'll just leave that like that. Live with it. North, south. Oh. Okay. Let's get rid of... Well, no, we can't get rid of... No, we can. Can't get rid of any of those iron bars, though. It won't work. Alright, I think that's done. I don't know. It looks cool from this area. Like, I really like the way it looks when you walk up on it. But from here, actually, that doesn't look that bad now. Like, there's enough things making it look different. Actually, you can't really see it from the path very well at all. Which probably works in its benefit. All right, yeah, that looks that doesn't look bad. I'm too hypercritical. It looks fine. I mean, the only other thing I could think of is to, like, make a line of something where the floor is. But I don't know if that's really necessary. Okay, so that's one building down that took forever. But now I have like a template to follow, which is a positive. What? Oh shit, what did I just do? Gotta lurk. Enjoy the lurk. Good luck in that work meeting.
It'll go great. All right. I think I want this building to be a little bit bigger. Maybe like twice as wide. It would be nice to make one that's basically the exact same as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so there's six before the building. One, two, three. Oh, perfect. Well, there we go. Should I make one that's the same or should I make one that's different? right here would be nice too so basically it's just going to be this small little settlement and then a big temple over here i'm gonna that's basically it so like four or five buildings maybe like a tiny little thing here Maybe like a little, some little merchant areas that are all crumbly. Like little booths or stalls or something over here. And then I could put a building right here. And I could put another one right here. I think I'll make this building the same. same but obviously crumbling in a totally different way oh there's a blank what it won't let me put it because there's a damn lily pad
Let's make just a small hole in this one, like right over here. Right by the front entry. Basically just filled in like normal. Maybe a little divot here. All right, this goes up. In the base, one, two, three, four, five. change these Whoops. All right. Then, so five. Oh, wait. No, these are actually down. These are right here. Right? Yeah. like you're constructing and then deconstructing it's like twice as long per structure it's a lot basic pieces though 
and it's just a matter of roughing it up. All right, and then this was just a four by four. Then we have the window bits, which is basically just below the two in the middle. what the lip coming off of it and then iron bars and then I basically just have to decide what stays wall bits Is that right doesn't seem right oh no I think I messed it up did I mess it up I did mess it up okay and I see what I did. Oh, whoops. blue. I'm working on my ruins inspired by you. This is what I have so far. Got my really busted up path right here. We got our uh, walkway that comes up here and then a busted up fountain. And then a building that's crumbling apart. I'm trying to go outside my comfort zone and do something that's just very erratic. Feels so special. I'm just, it's so different for me because I use consistent materials and very much think in like straight lines. So it's been, it's been different to try and do it. And it's I feel like it's helping me, you know? Looks awesome, thank you. Whoops, shit. That was a mistake. Yeah, now I've built the basic structure of the second building, and now I just got to rough it up. Working on a wizard tower. Nice. 
not going well? Why not going well? I feel like this one might be in better shape than the last building. So I need cobble stair. I need mossy cobble stair. And I think we're good. All right. on the idea last night in your tester world it's not bad not good sometimes experiments are just failures and that's part of the creative process you know sometimes you're like yeah this sounds cool and then you go to execute it and it's like no total no it's part of the natural creative process unfortunate but necessary you know sometimes concepts sound great and then you go to do it and you're like it's not great it's not stunning I shouldn't have got rid of the andesite stair. Keep that on hand. We're going to need to be doing on the fly restructuring. Oh, this song's good. Is this so pretty what is desphos i've never heard of that
Oh god, get out of here. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Bacchus told me to put these on if I want if I wanted cuter looking. Oh, it's incompatible. Oh, bummer. Oh well. You need to go. Get the fuck out of here. You're annoying. At it. No. Tired of his noises. Oh my god, you didn't leave. Fuck off. I don't have a sword, but I want you to go. you ice cold absolutely Was the door? No, it was. Okay. Like, was it really that low? Every This one seems more boxed in. I guess it's because I started with the box. Kind of want to get rid of like a whole corner. Like, smash all this up.
Okay. Seems so weird to not have a whole corner there, but I like it. All right, and then we need to rough up these on the outside. No. Why do you want to do it that way? Forgot to do these. That would not work. That's the support beam. The only thing holding this thing up from crumbling. All right. Okay. Bar could be messed up a little bit. I think this building's done.
maybe a couple more like inlaid slabs in here. Like, you gotta think of it in the round. That's what makes it so difficult. Like, now I feel like I didn't do that on this building at all. There's like no outer parts with divots. This one's a lot more crumbled in general, though. Mm, actually, let's do that. No. Nope. Shit. Oh my god, why will you not? Beautiful. Okay. Let's do debugging on these. So if that's west, north, and south. would be east and west.
Oh. West, none. There. Yeah, that one took way less time. Now what? I don't know. I don't know what to do next. I can make the little things down here, maybe. Six out, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's a fucking spring down here. There is like, there's water everywhere in this swamp. Can't take it.
Okay. That is a really long path. Hmm. Do some spruce fencing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Take a quick break here for a minute and come back. I think that's a good stop. Well, actually, let me throw some fence down real quick. Let's do some of that. Actually, think I want a little bit of fence on both sides of this. And then I'll debug it when I get back. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm gonna get up and stretch, refresh my water, and I'll be back as quick as I can. Y'all enjoy the tunes if you're still out there.
All right, I am back. Hey, Nate. Welcome. Oh, man, I had a couple of Funyuns, and now I just want to keep eating them. They're so dangerous. I could pretty much eat an entire bag in one sitting. Anyway, I'm not gonna. I'm tempted. I'll just finish them off when I'm done streaming. <laughs> but hello, I'm back. Hope y'all enjoyed the music. Hope you're doing well, Nate, if you're still there. Been a quiet day, a nice relaxing little quiet day. I am... Oh, I must have paused my YouTube music somehow. Pressing all the buttons, okay. All right, so we can go ahead and do that on all fences. So north and south. Whoops. The ruins are working out. It's actually coming along pretty well. Just needed like a good start, I guess. You know what? I think we're just going to get rid of that piece. Oh. Two paths coming off there. That's going to go to the temple, so we can, I guess, start that. good that's a good approach go ahead and solidify I 
Excuse me, chicken. Move. Where are these animals even coming from? Did they get out of the damn farm? And make their way over here? What's up with that? Hello! <laughs> Kid Knives, hey! Welcome! How y'all doing? Hey, Detective Nikki. Thank you for the raid! Uh, to anyone who may be watching right now, check out Kid Knives 100%. An amazing person, an amazing streamer. Hope you were doing well. Let's see what you were playing. You were playing Among Us? Oh my gosh. Hey, Code. Cody B. I always feel like I'm going to mispronounce that. Hope y'all are doing well. Hope your stream was glorious. I was tuned in for a little bit there before I uh, hopped on here today. I was uh, being a lurker boy. Hey, Captain Board. Welcome. Hope y'all are enjoying your Friday. Or whatever day it may be for you. So, my temple's going over here. I've been kind of semi-productive today. Um, I am making this kind of ruins area. So, I made this little building that's falling apart. So glad that I'm streaming. <laughs> Me too. Why not? It's I was a, a long day. My husband's not getting home for another probably an hour. I'm probably gonna wrap up in about an hour, most likely, so I can snack and stuff. Sheep is really wanting attention. True. Um, but yeah, I made these little kind of ruins buildings, and I roughed up this path made this kind of messed up fountain and I'm gonna make a big temple over here and then I got like another house I'm gonna put here and another house I'm gonna put here and if I decide to do more after that maybe I'm not sure yet 
Um, but thanks to everyone who joined in in that raid. Very much appreciated. Hopefully Among Us went well. I saw you play it a little bit after I went to bed, which is amazing. Hopefully they were very nice. Oh, that's not how you spell chisel. <laughs> Hopefully you didn't take any of their shit. That'll be the entrance to the temple. I'm, I think I want it to be like a really grand structure. I want it to be kind of massive. I think I want to work on these houses first though. It's a little easier to tackle. So I get to uh, kind of fulfill my need for symmetry, but then rough it all up so it's not symmetrical. So like right now, this little area is totally symmetrical. Well, aside from that path going off at a diagonal. Look how rough it looks. Actually, what is noon? Time... Time set 12,000? I don't know what, what noon is. Oh, that means the sun's about to go down, so time set 6,000? Yeah. So game rule, what was it? Day, day cycle, what is it called? Fuck, I forgot. Do daylight cycle. We'll keep it at false while it's at high noon, so we get the brightest light. Okay. Let's do the house over here first. So... One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's perfect. Does not interact with the path. Kind of want this one to be like rectangular, so let's do ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sorry, tree. You gotta go. Thought, thought I could keep it, but I can't. Alright, so we need andesite stair. Need andesite block. And... We don't need... I'd rather just not put on mossy slab. Three, four, five, two, 
three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So similar style to the other buildings, that means let's put windows like right there. Yeah. Enjoy the lurk. I'll see you later. Thank you again for the raid, kid knives. some chiseled let's get rid of I just I don't like getting rid of the debug rod because kind of a pain to respawn in um, let's get rid of that
All right, and then we had... Two down. some iron bars. placed I should just make the other frame too. Oh, I forgot the pull out the support beam on this side. That was south, this would be west. Oh, east.
Wait. What did I do on the one building? I gave it like a under lip. I have to go look at that. I don't think I did that on the second building. I didn't put the whole floor in. Come back and rough it up in a bit. I must have used half pieces, maybe, instead of full blocks. down like a full extra square below the flooring. Hey, blank. So that's all it was. So I just added like that. Hope you're doing well, blank. Hopefully Friday is treating you well. Appreciate you saying hello. All right, we need to get under there. For this one, all this roughing up I did is for nothing. I gotta re rough it up. shit. Well, I can just put the door entering, like, right here instead of in the middle. And that way they can still be the same size building. Uh, 
that means two to the corner, right? Yeah, two and then corner. side. Losing it. Already. Whoops. So then it's three, two, so one, two, three. Goodbye, tree. This is one, two, three, window, one, two, three, corner. Support columns.
Ooh, time for some funky old Animal Crossing music. Or if this isn't Animal Crossing, it sounds very, very, very close. Alright. These go up five. Two, three, four, five. Four, five. Three, four, five. Three, four, five. This is a nice little like that. All right. I think I might get this one built all it so I can snack. Thought the cereal would hold me over till my husband got home, but it's not. And I'm not really an on stream eater kind of person, so. Get this little shell made so my ass can go snack. Because I am ready for some snacks. Oh. four so let's do one two three four that means that's gonna cut one two three four So, I guess on the other one, need to do... The flooring and the windows and stuff. Got it. Okay. Get all that laid out. I can come back and do it real easy next time. Oh, um... Somebody... I think it was Bacchus redeemed another painting stream for me. So, Saturday night is actually going to be a painting stream. Keeping me productive. Thought about doing one today, but... 
I don't know. I wanted to do Minecraft because I kind of cut Minecraft short last night for Among Us, so like I can squeeze in a Minecraft. One, two, three, four. Cut through. Part of the other little balcony go. Oh, it's tiny. Okay. you. Hey, Kid Knives, welcome back. I think I'm about to wrap up here because I am getting a munch attack. I got the munchies really bad. I want to eat some food and I don't eat on stream <laughs> so I am gonna I'm laying down like the skeleton of this building and then I think I'm gonna head out your stream go by the way let's see we got the spruce fence that we need to do stream is okay good how did among us go I feel like you have a lot to learn still uh I, you know i don't it's, i still feel the same way <laughs> honestly so so yeah, Among Us can kind of go either way. Hopefully, I was just saying, hopefully they were really nice to you last night after I left. Among Us is just, it's a, 
not a chill vibe, you know? <laughs> it's just not that chill. They were good. Good to hear. All right, we gotta do the flooring. Who was fucking up last night? Really? I can't believe I had server mute on for everyone. See, there's still so much for me to learn. I can't believe that. And then I, I apparently I've had it on like that for a while. Like at least a week. I know I went through after the troll attack last week and edited, edited some like roles and channels. So it must have been must have been from when I was messing with stuff then. More comfortable with Discord than Twitch. You had to ban, hey, you know? Sometimes you just gotta do it. Sometimes you, it's better, even when you're like, starting out, to just rip that bandaid off and get people out that are like, not good. Because, you know, sometimes I'm like, should I? Shouldn't I? Ultimately, I always land on, yes, I should. Sometimes people just will not get it together. And even if you're not streaming to, like, For money, it's still like, what kind of community do you want? Do you want what kind of vibe do you want in your chat? You know, that's important. I feel like, for sure. Oh, it was a spammer. Oh yeah. Yeah, banning is just a necessary part of it. There's all kinds of people on Twitch. And just like real life, not all kinds of people are going to mesh perfectly together. And again, this is like, it's an online, it's basically a private online community each stream. So it's like, no one's entitled to not get banned. The way I see it. You may feel wronged, but it ultimately don't matter. This actually would be a really pretty building if I didn't have to rough it up, I feel like. Like, this is just pretty. Just by itself, without doing anything to it. But, I want to rough it up. I think I like the first building I did better than that one. I think it's probably because when it's like sunset comes in through this side and just looks really neat. Maybe I should put some stuff in these buildings too. I don't know what. Maybe chest or something. A 
chest, some sort of bench or something. Maybe just like a crafting table. I mean, I don't think they can do beds, right? Can well, I mean, there's no real enemies, but it's like wide open to the elements, so a bed would not have stood the test of time if this is this crumbled and degraded. Can help think of something? Oh, I forgot to build up the walls just a little bit. Okay, I think that is fine. For now, I think that's a good place to stop. So it starts, you know, nice and clean-ish becomes this messy, messy looking thing. Yeah, I didn't quite build this one up the same way. making I am making a ruins village so there's a big swampy area near my spawn and I am kind of making a building that is falling apart so I made a pathway that's very beat up and crumbly and then I have a fountain that I also did the same way. It's just very kind of 
you know, missing bricks and, and stuff everywhere. And then I made these two smaller buildings that are just kind of messy half structures. And then I'm making two more bigger buildings that are similar in size. They're about twice as big. Um, and then I'm going to do like a big temple over here. There's going to be like a, a giant temple over here. And then I might, I don't know, I might try to squeeze in a couple more buildings. I'm not sure yet. But I wanted to keep this project pretty small, I think. Like I could put another building here, maybe another building here. Just like a small little abandoned settlement, you know? But it's right off the spawn point. So just like all my other stuff, the spawn just comes over. And there's a new little thing over here. Yeah, hopefully it pans out. I think this one looks pretty good. If I can just make them all kind of similar. I want to put vines on them next. There's going to be like vines growing on them. You know, that'll be part of the finishing. I'll probably put some grass bits in them so plants are coming, growing up into it. Um, you know, little bits like that. But this like, I don't know. That's kind of the, the vibe I'm going for, is this decaying thing. And so I was just making the shells for these buildings. I can go back and mess with them later. Don't have the patience for making buildings. Some days are easier than others with this game. Like, I'm sort of into it today, but I'm also kind of like... This is so different from the, the way I traditionally build that it's kind of taken a lot out of me. Because usually I just build a box and add some like flourishes on the outside and call it a day. But like this is all I've done. Four buildings. Well, two buildings and two half started buildings. The problem with this method is like I have to build the building and then I have to like deconstruct it, you know? So I'm building it and then I'm basically like tearing it down halfway. <laughs> so it's like twice, three times the amount of work. So it's it's a bit more intense than what I'm used to. So I'm already like, uh, plus I want a snack. So I'm about to end. Bunions are calling my name. Yeah, like this building looks really cool when you start approaching it. If I can get them all to that level of crumbling, then we're good. Funyuns, I know, I'm not really big on the Funyuns. Usually I'm more of a hot fries kind of guy. I like hot fries, but they didn't have hot fries at the grocery store when we went. No hot fries. It was tragic. Yeah, Food Lion, not so great. That's the cheap store here. But yeah, Swamp's looking good. We'll see how many, you know, once I get these buildings done, maybe I'll want to put more in there. Maybe four won't be enough. Probably won't be enough, you know. You worked at Food Lion for two years? Generally, Food Lion's not that bad, I feel like. It's definitely the cheapest option we have here. Oh, and Sunset Beach, really? Where else is? Is Food Lion like a North Carolina specific thing? I feel like it's in other parts of the country, but I never see it except here. Bilo Holdings Bottom bought out the Winn Dixie. I remember when Winn Dixie was around. 
Southern East Coast thing. Kind of what I figured. When people are like, what the hell is a food lion? Like, it's food lion, man. Look it up. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, this area could use some building up. Like, I might just put... Try to make little statuesque type things. I was thinking of making, like, old merchant booths here that are falling apart as you're going into town, you know? Like, some small little stalls that are falling apart on both sides of the path here. Like a small little square. And you do... That was... So I wanted to do a big giant... Because Magma did this really cool statue in her village so i wanted to do something like that but make it falling apart i'll show you magma's stuff real quick this is magma's area magma's got like these docks with little tents and booths see something like this is what i was thinking like a merchant thing but like crumbling yeah, Magma made this amazing ship. And then up here is the statue. There's so something like this. I want to build a temple around a giant statue that's like kind of inspired by this. Isn't it cute? Magma did such a good job. So cute. Magma's stuff is actually really cool. Missing its head. Oh. Missing the head. It's got, I guess it's got like horseshoe hair. I could have it headless. Yeah, make the head like crumbling apart. And the head on the ground. That's a good idea. Ooh. I probably, I don't know how I'm going to make something that looks humanoid. I'll have to do something similar to that, probably. Someone's catching your drift. Give it angel wings. It's a good idea. But yeah, I want the temple to be really grand, really grandiose. Like columns that are falling apart. Vines coming down from the ceiling. The ceiling basically falling off of it. Like the Temple of Time from Breath of the Wild, you know? Something like that. But yeah, Magma's got like a little restaurant up in here. Yeah, I have him half broken. That's a good idea. Make like a... Magma's got a little smithy. Oh, that's the restaurant again. And then a little clothing shop. M's clothing. With all these little clothing bits on frames. Honestly, I had not played this game for like eight years. The last time I played it seriously was like 2012, before I started the server. And then I think, oh yeah, there's a barn over here. giant barn with some animals but yeah I just like building you know having to craft stuff would stress me out so hard last time you attempted to play was when it first came out oh I know yeah 2010s when it came out I was playing it a lot when it first came out in alpha I was all over it. I was all over it. And then it lasted about a year and a half and I was like, okay, I'm done. Picked it up for a very short time in 2012 again and then was just done. But I just wanna create. And Animal Crossing is kind of limited. This is much more like customizable but still simplistic enough.
And yeah, this is, so this is like a little server I'm just running to run. And I don't have it up 24-7, I just kind of have it up by request. Or when I'm streaming it, essentially. Cat won't get out of your face. I like the idea of the head and the wings falling off the statue, though. I definitely want to use that. Uh, we also have... No, this is on a private... This is on, like, one of my machines. Nah, I don't pay for it. Uh, Blue, Blue Draws made this little area, so I was also inspired by Blue Draws, like, path aesthetic, which is why I wanted to make this, like, crumbling thing. Somehow Blue makes this look really pretty, even though it's so, it's seemingly random. So I was also inspired by the look of that. Looks like they started something out here, but... But the path is... I don't know, it just kind of blows my mind. It's so far outside of what I would make stuff to look like that that's why I'm trying to push myself to not just go with my usual aesthetic with this ruins, you know? It is really pretty. Blue's got a little aquarium in here. Giant map wall. And a little streaming setup. So cute. Little counter. Brewing stands. I guess these are like potted plants. You put little trap doors around some dirt. And you could put potted plants in your house. A little bedroom with desk. so cute. Couldn't just have to draw. Yeah. Honestly, I just keep everything pretty basic, like just square buildings, you know? But I've done everything around the spawn. Corrected to Bud. What up, Bud? I, you know, I found myself saying Bud a lot more as I get older. But yeah, like, I didn't plan any of this, really. I just kind of built it, and it started going up and up and up. But yeah, I got this uh, Bay Village, so built on these little piers. With a lighthouse at the end of it, which I made all myself. Didn't even look up a, a um, blueprint or anything. And I'm such a perfectionist to some degree. I wanted to give supports underneath the water. Even though most people will never see it. Uh, and then we have the mountain village, which is massive. Someone might, yeah. They can fly through and see it. Um, so yeah, this is the spawn fountain. If you launch into the world, this is where you would start. It's right on top of here. And then I have this whole giant settlement. So we've got over here a farm. We've got the farmhouse, barn, chicken coop, and grain silo. Got a horse stable down in here. Wish I lived in this video game. Same. My mountain settlement is a dream town. We've got like a little water gathering pool there. I made multiple temples for this settlement. So there's a water temple over here. Where rain comes in. Settles in a pool. Uh, over here, we have a fire temple, so like a little lava pool with some fires around it. We have a lot of gardens over here, so I made 
like this mountainside, I built it up. It was just gravel. So I made this like grass walkway area. Some gazebos. And a fountain. And then this is the earth temple. With a tree in it. The big giant tree. A zen garden, yes. And like all, I planted all these flowers, all this shit. Actually, I want to close this trellis. And close this back up. I think I like the look of it closed more. But yeah, that's the Earth Temple. Then... There's like all these houses built into the mountain and all of these walkways, you can basically walk up the mountain on various walkways that connect to all these houses that are kind of built inlaid into the mountain. So, you know, there's like a big pool bathhouse area here. I haven't really, I never furnished it. I did furnish the, the village on the water, but I never furnished this one up here. Then there's actually a whole other side to this village after the farm. So from this side, it's like all this crazy shit. With all these houses built in, all these walkways connecting them. We got gardens down here at the base level with some pools. And a little bar, which I actually did furnish. You want to live in a, mount in a mountain, right? If, yeah, if something bad happens, I'm definitely moving to the mountains. There is a sky temple. So we had water, fire, earth, and now this is the sky temple up on the mountain top. So it's just this open temple with these, like, chandeliers. you can see it was the thing you saw from up above there's the earth temple got the fire temple over there the bay village down there so this is pretty high up and there's a couple of observation towers so there's like three of them this is actually like the highest point that i've built to so far Can I spawn butterflies? That's a good, I, I don't know. A good question. Yeah, there's the farm from above. There's another observation tower there and another one over there. So all this is connected. Um, and then there's a final temple. Whoop. This is the nether temple that magma helped me build. So it's just built into the like bottom of the mountain. And then there's a big hole that fades from normal blocks down to nether blocks. And at the bottom, there's a giant portal. And it's got like a spiral staircase. It takes you all the way down. And Magma did this really cool like layered glass effect here so that you can't see the, the ground. So you're kind of like floating a little bit, which is really neat. <laughs> Call magma. <laughs> magma it really made this so much prettier than it was. And magma and blue made these little like nether lamps. But yeah. You can get, there's just, it's all interconnected. You can get from like the bottom to the top. Super short time. And I did all these gardens. But yeah, I just finished this one last week. All this mountain stuff. It took me probably about two months maybe to do all this. And maybe like a month to do that down there. So this server's already been active for a couple months. 
and then magma's done all that stuff uh and blue did that little cottage so yeah i've been basically holding down the spawn though and then now this is my next Thank you. I'm happy to show it off. <laughs> Alright, it's time for me to eat some damn Funyuns. I'm ready to chill, relax, sit on the couch and... Bullshit, you know? So I'm gonna head off. For me... This is like a nice place to, to leave the camera for next time. Actually, maybe like right here. Right there. You as well, Jade. I am playing Among Us tonight. I don't know if you're working or what, but Among Us is still happening t tonight. And I'm painting tomorrow night. So I guess I'll catch you around another time. Oh, you got to work at night. Night streams. Night work. But yeah, the painting's been coming along as well. I got another painting stream redemption, so thank you for hanging out and chatting with me. Uh, Kid Knives, thank you as well for hanging out, and thank you for the raid. Oh, let me disconnect, and let me see if there's someone around for me to raid. But thank y'all for the company, as always. Alex, I know you were here earlier. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, Blue, Bruff, Magma, Alien, Super Manoyo. Thank y'all all so much for hanging out with me this afternoon. It's been a very chill, quiet time. Is Brandon on? We can go over to Brandon. Oh yeah, Brandon is on. Casio Mario World. Doing a hack. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's do that. Let me go ahead and open up the stream. So that way I don't get hit with an ad. All right, I will be back around 11-ish, um, 11, 11 p.m. Eastern time, so in about six hours or so, to play some Among Us. I might start the stream a bit early if my husband goes to bed early-ish. I might start and do some Mario Kart until I can get 10 people in the queue. But yeah, thank you, Jade. Mwah. Enjoy your day. Hopefully work goes well for you. And I guess I will see y'all later. Thank you so much. Uh, when you go over to Brandon, just get some heart emotes ready. Of course, pink JJ love is great. But if you need hearts or virtual hugs, there's a couple of those. I'll see y'all later. Thank you again for hanging out with me. Mwah. Bye, y'all. Let's go over to Brandon Blake. <laughs>